I don't know about you, but I was one of those kids where you couldn't think of a worse punishment than to send them away to summer camp. I mean, just weekend field trips were already hellish nightmares for me. So I can totally relate when Skye is less than thrilled that her dad and her stepmonster are sending her away to summer camp instead of letting her spend time with her old man over the summer. That said, I do also kind of understand their motivation because Sky is hell-bent on just doing the whole You're not my mom! I hate you! I hate you! song and dance, so I can sort of understand the motivation here. But there's really no excuse for just taking your kid and cramming her on a random bus somewhere which is basically what these two Parents of the Year do. So through this organizational mess up, Skye ends up heading towards Camp Midnight, which, as it becomes pretty clear right off the bat, is not Camp Anawana. Even though I always felt like I was the only sane human being surrounded by a group of monsters whenever I was at a camp, in Skye's case, this is actually literally true. Pretty soon, she finds herself in a rivalry with three witches, crushing on a werewolf, and having a run-in with a basilisk. Through all of this, she slowly learns to be a better person. She gets valuable life lessons, and she starts to realize that she doesn't exactly make it easy for people to like her. The verdict. Steve Siegel manages to keep that balance of having Sky be an insufferable brat and at the same time being likable. Much like Calvin from Calvin and Hobbes. In fact, if you like Calvin and Hobbes, you're definitely going to feel right at home at Camp Midnight. There's not so much philosophical stuff here, but there is a certain depth to the story and the characters, and not just to Sky. Some of the other denizens also have some pretty nice personalities. The story itself is just so well told that it's just a joy to read, and you can sort of see Sky growing throughout the story. At the end, it's not a perfect mutation. She's still a brat, and there's still going to be a ton of conflict with her stepmother. But I think she's going to be a lot of a better person for her time spent with all these literal monsters. The minimalistic artwork tells the story just perfectly. It just keeps that children's perspective and that spirit of wonder going. And that's really something that moves the story forward and keeps the magic going. So all in all, this book is totally worth it. If you have a younger reader in the house, then you should get it for the story that teaches about friendship and being less of a creep but without being preachy. It's spooky but without being scary. It's creepy but without being gross. And it's just funny on so many levels. And if you're an older reader, you will just love this for the overall message and humor. Again, if you're a fan of Calvin and Hobbes, go for this. So there you have it. That's my review of Camp Midnight. Please like and subscribe, share this video with your friends, and until next time, I'm David Marcel and this is my comic book obsession. I'm gonna go roast some marshmallows now. <laughs>